court, Nia Coffey, Brianna Turner, and Brittany Griner round out the Deep and talented. Had they also had the services of Christy Tolliver, as well as Chinea Gumake, leading before. scorer, who had an injury riddled 2019, and Brittany Griner puts Phoenix. Phoenix 15 and 19 last year. Never really saw a healthy Tarasi as Griner hits the jump. Here's Gray. Nice find to Neka Gumake. Such great vision at her size. Screen, roll. Defense stays a second too long. The help is a second too late. And the finish by Neka. As she was pregnant, the birth of her first child, Gray comes up with a steal. Good touch pass underneath. Parker finishes. Two early fouls on Griner. She is forced to check out as Parker able to flag down the dangerous pass. Parker fading away. This strong skip. defender, but for most of the first possessions, we saw Phoenix running their offense through BJ. Tarasi, a wide team in her WNBA career. Parker looks off the pass, takes the drive, and scoops it home. Right side of the floor. Where's the help going to come from? They're all on the other side. They ice it behind the back. Just a little fake. That's all Candace Parker needs, and she still has the explosive. Team playing at least 15 of their 22 games with only one day rest. How does Candace Parker work her way through the season? Six points in this first quarter. Parker on the take. Good D. Sparks lead midway through this opening quarter. The little bunny hop, and the jumper rolls in. Yellow says she is the best at playing with Brittany Griner just because she has the ex uh, experience of it from a year ago. That three drops in. A 14-10. Sparks lead over the Mercury. Popping it off the window. You know, really excited about what she is going to bring this year and how good she has been looking. That three is good. For Bria Hartley in for Phoenix. That jumper is good. Hartley running the point. Tried to dump it into traffic. Mm. On the break. What athleticism. And the I mean, look at this athleticism. She is going to get out. This is where she can really thrive. Getting in, using her quickness, finishing at the rim. Another guard who can really create. Who can push tempo, but can really create her own shot. And Sykes certainly is that. Inbound pass is thrown away, an opportunity for Phoenix, but a travel. He's saying right now, including what the players on the bench are yelling back to their teammates. So it really is the beauty. Mike Krzyzewski told me once, Top. unusual time. That three is good. Sparks lead. Two for one opportunity here for Phoenix. Nice delivery and on the roll. Kia to Brianna Taylor. And in case you missed the beginning of the game, these teams held a 26 second moment of remembrance. I'll tell you, I spoke with her mother earlier today. Tamika Palmer is watching the games today. She was so gracious with her time and she is proud. She said, I felt so loved. 25-25, L.A. and Phoenix all tied up. Not Continued anymore. improvement. She found more minutes. And Derek Fisher thinks she can be an important part of what this team wants to do. The lefty going to a strong <laughs> hand. Phoenix still with time here. Six to shoot. Tarasi looking to set herself up. The runner is good. And Tarasi back on the floor. I mean, it doesn't have that blazing speed or quickness. You just need some savvy, and she's got it. Diggett Smith veering around traffic, setting up Griner, and Griner finishes. Really going to be good at getting the ball to BJ. Two-point Phoenix lead. Here is Cooper. Her jumper is 18th pick out of Baylor. Tarasi finishes with the left. Eight points now for the WNBA's all-time leading scorer. Neka Kulmake, communication on man-to-man -man defense on that position, but in rotation, Neka takes her time. Uh, Brittany Griner's got to not pick up Eight that. points to lead all L.A. scorers. Diggin' Smith bolts to the bucket. Place earlier today, the Storm 
beating the Liberty in Sabrina Ionescu's debut. Sue Bird and Brianna Stewart's return. Nice work inside from Neka Gumake who puts it in, plus the foul. That this is a clinic. You hear about footwork, watch the shoulder work first. Shimmy, turn, turn, footwork, finish. Come on, Neka. Rossi, off on a three, rebound. Ends up back with Phoenix. Diggins Smith will take and hit from down. Skyler Diggins because you can't go behind because she'll do what she just did. Here is Parker straight on with a three of her own. Just Parker, Diana Taurasi, Skyler Diggins Smith. They all look excellent in this first half. Gray lost the handle. Right back to Phoenix. A four on three developing. Taurasi finds Griner underneath the layup go. At the hotel inside the bubble being tested every day. As Augustus hits the jumper. On four for Phoenix instead. Tarasi the no look, Griner the catch, but the denial underneath. Dig it. Here is Sykes. Pull up three. He is smooth. Brittany Sykes at 5'9", comes over on the help side. Oof, gets up. That is all ball. A beautiful block. And this is a player. She just hit the three. Shot 26% from three a season ago. Is deadly off the bounce, slicing through the lane and getting They've to the done that. Candace said that she talked with her coach, and what they've said is just between them. But they're both moving forward, communicating well. And Neko Oguma came. Gray weaving for to shoot. Parker reverses it in. It's a great job on the screen. Candace Parker on that screen and roll used her butt for the screen. At 3 Eastern, noon Pacific from the IMG bubble in Bradenton, Florida. Both games also streaming live on the ESPN app. This is the first half, whether it's screen and roll or handoff, it's going to be a problem when it involves Skylar Diggins-Smith and Brittany Griner that time. Diggins and, it, and we understand there's been a lot of rest that's going to play into what's called the spryness level. I mean, the ability to face up, draw the five player, the center, out of the lane. L.A. 13 of 15 from the line now. Gray looking to go baseline around Diggins Smith. Up, under, and in. She's got a smaller Diggins Smith on her. She'll use her size and her strength for the finish. In the year to come. And we also want to say congratulations when it comes to the 2020 Commissioner Kathy Engelbert in the building in Bradenton, Florida. Thing you bring into the bu bubble. I think it's great that hers was the bedazzler. <laughs> So thank you, Rashonda Gray. I'm loving my mask. I feel like Holly. People who'd come into the bubble to support their loved ones weren't going to be able to come to the games. And they said, listen, we'll give up that safe space and that sky right there. Brody, that's Brittany Griner's wife um, to the side who's doing her online law school classes. 14-point lead for L.A. Here's Augustus' jumper. It's good. <laughs> Has the shimmy, and it's good to see some of that back. Simone Augustus. Here comes Simone. The pull-up jumper. You bet. Sweet of the afternoon. Simone Augustus in her 15th season showing everybody she's still 71-53 lead over Phoenix. A straight on three is third good. quarter. L.A. controls. Neka Gumake's three is good. Augustus giving it up. Sykes three is good. Just three off the mark. Rebound taken by Neka Gumake. Agumake in the corner. Connects. Looks like a completely different team here in, in the second half than they did in the first. How much fatigue is playing into it? Even turnovers. It can be a fatigue turnover. Game. And L.A. has scored 32 points off of those 22 turnovers. Points off turnovers. Taya Cooper will take and hit from three. So much WNBA action coming your way over these next few weeks. Tarasi that season. Last year just never quite got over the recovery from her back surgery as Tarasi scoops it in right on. 6.05 to go in this fourth quarter. A 23 point LA lead as Neka banks it in. Right. right. <laughs>
Diggins Smith three is good. Six assists. Brittany Griner has been quiet for a while for the Mercury. She is off the floor right now. Overs from Phoenix. And make it 23. Here's Raquana Williams motoring to the free throw line. Up, and she said between her and her executive committee, it has been a lot. But it is beautiful to see in her return to the court today. Not only is she perfect, her voice that has gotten us here to this Game point. Was. Griner's jumper is good. Bucket in the back. Sophie Cunningham lays it in. No longer in doubt. The communication does not stop. No. It's the only way to be successful is to be constantly talking on the floor, in particular on the defense.